Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. In this video, I'm gonna show you how I create this 3D character using Blender software. Okay, let's turn on the computer to start. Okay, there we go. Let's get started with... With... Wait a minute. I have no idea what should I create. So... I'm using the wrong table. Of course, guys, I need to use this table to sketch the character at first. All what we need is a pencil, an eraser, a sketchbook and a lot of creativity. Okay, I like to create a female character. I feel this character should be a witch or a mysterious person. Okay, let's give this character a book. A book? Why a book? I don't know, because anyone need a book, you idiot. So let's see how it's turned out. Woo! Let's move on. I'm so exhausted. I need to go to sleep. I'm gonna see you tomorrow. Good morning, everybody. Such a beautiful day. Round two. Let's go. Let's turn on the computer, open Blender and start sculpting. Before I start, I like to create a quick sketch for the body. As you see guys, I'm blocking out the body right now. This process is not that complicated, but it's highly, highly important for sculpting. Blockout is a 3D rough draft level, built with 3D simple shapes, but without any details. The most important brush for now is the grab brush. So, after blocking out the body, it's time to combine the mesh together. Okay, let's turn on the music and enjoy the process. Okay guys, we need to care of about two important things. First of all, head proportions. A face is divided into three equal parts. The hairline into the eyebrows. Eyebrows into the button of the nose. The button of the nose into the button of the chin. The eyes are halfway between the top of the head and the chin. Alright, the button of the nose is halfway between the eyes and the chin. Okay guys, number two, we need to be careful with the polygon count. In this case, we need to start with the low polygon count and then we can go higher. Shift R to change the voxel size, Ctrl R to rematch. <laughs> As you see guys, sculpting the hand it's quite hard and tricky. But if we break down the steps of creating the hand, it's going to be easier to create. It's time to create the clothes. This is the funny and cool part in the whole process. As you see guys, sculpting the clothes in Blender, it's not that complicated. If you didn't understand what I'm doing right now, you can watch this sculpting tutorial series for beginners after watching this video. I do like create low body hair using curves. Using curves to create hair, it's an easy and effective way to create hair because anybody can learn this method in a few minutes. It's not that complicated and the hair does look cool. Okay, it's 9 a.m. I have to go to work. Go, go, go! I'm back, baby! So guys, back to work and don't be lazy like me. At some point, I can't remesh the body to add more details. That's why we're gonna use the multi-resolution modifier. This modifier allow me to add high, cool, sharp details. But before we add this modifier, we need clean topology. That's why we need to re-topology the mesh. 
The best way to read topology the mesh, of course, to read topology the mesh manually. There are many bait and free add-ons to read topology the mesh, but read topology the mesh manually can give you the best result ever. I use a read topology add-on called Quad Remesher. This add-on is just awesome. You can save three or four hours just in one click. After the read topology process, we need to add a multi-resolution modifier. The next step, UV unwrapping. We need to unwrap the mesh because we need to be able to draw on the surface and to bake the maps. I absolutely hate this process, but I have to deal with that because it's a very important process for our workflow. Woo! That was stressful. Okay guys, it's time to get a drink. Okay done, let's go back to work. When it's come to texturing, Blender is awesome guys. Before we do anything, we need to bake the ambient inclusion map for the body. If you like me and you are interested to create game assets characters, you need to bake the texture maps in Blender and then upload them manually in the game engine. The four important maps for any game engine are ambient inclusion, roughness, diffuse, and normal map. If you are Blender user, you are lucky because you can create all these maps inside Blender. And all of that is for free. Awesome, right? Enjoy the music, I will be right back. Okay, now we need to give this character a quick pose. To create an animation or a quick pose, we need to use the Rigify add-on. This add-on came with Blender and it's easy to use and to understand. Okay guys, we are done. Bring your popcorn, have a seat and enjoy. 